Uh, hello guys and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we'll be looking at how to build this um cart page you see here so this is a ui i found on rebel um, i'll leave a link to the ui in the description so the major part we'll be looking at is the my cart page right which looks um quite simple but as a beginner in flutter you may need to learn how to break down uis into various widgets um the layout algorithm how you need to align stuff so that um, building much complex uis like the ones here won't be very difficult um, so in today's video we'll just focus on the cart page right and we'll be doing this in flutter so let's get right into it i've created a new flutter project um and as you can see the only thing i'm running over here is a scaffold that has the text um hello world in the center of the page and in my simulator i have hello world in the center of the page so this will we'll be starting from and in my directory i'm coming to the lab folder to create um widgets folder right because there's just a one screen uh, ui so we can just put it in the widget folder no architecture needed so just create a directory um, called screens or widgets doesn't really matter for this because this is just to teach you the concept of ui so i'm going to create a new dat file um, and then call it cat page something like this right and let me close this guy yeah. so let's first have a stateless widget so um, stls yeah, i'm going to call it um, cat page and also import this from material good so let's look at how we can build this um, we are first going to assume where we have our back button and my cat is going to be the abba obviously right because that's just the perfect place you can put this in this case now in the body of our page um, depending on how you want the user experience to be um, there are a lot of alternatives you can choose for here right some people may want the subtotal taxes and fees delivery fee stick to the page even when we have more items in the cart so the user scrolls um, but still keeps the subtotal and delivery fee with all this ui still on the page other people may want it differently they would want when you scroll down to the bottom that's when you see this section of the page so depending on the requirements for your ui you may have um, different implementations now in this particular example what i'm going to consider is that this page will stick um, it's going to be uh, positioned fixed right so you don't have to scroll this whole list in case there are more items the bottom before you find these contents these contents are always going to be available so only scrolling part of this page is going to be this section where we have add more items and then um, the cut item itself so let's get into it and see how we can go about this um, i haven't built this ui before this is my first time as you can see i have other tabs open just looking for a ui to work on so you may have to um guess certain things out right because i don't have any pictorial um i haven't seen this ui before this is my first time so um, instead of returning just a placeholder over here we can return a scaffold right and um, let's say in the body for now we can have the center and also in the main dot that instead of returning this scaffold over here we can take this and then return our card page like this and if we import um so we have our card page rendering on our screen right now and let's start with the app bar and we have to move the cons from here so that's going to give us the basic blue app bar right but then you'd want to style it a bit 
So in the title, we can have a text that says um, my cat. And um, depending on how you want to style your app bar, also we don't have the back button over here because we didn't move to this page. Um, it's just the first page that we are working on. But then in real example where you are building an actual project, um, depending on the structure of your project and the UI, you may move to another page in order to see the cat page. And that will automatically bring a leading um, icon here. That will take you to the back, right? That's the previous page. So uh, let's start our app bar. Remove the elevation, that's the border. I'm sorry, the shadow uh, under the blue background. Also, you may decide to change the color. So background color can be set to colors that are transparent, right? And that will make this thing of white, not very visible and then you can also change the foreground color because of that maybe color is just black i think that combination will make it much visible and then let's add a const over here since android still doesn't add it automatically for us now in um, our page we want this section of the page to be scrollable but we want to keep this part static so the best way we can approach this is to have a column now in this column we are going to divide the page into two sections the part that screws and then the part that is static so let's see how we can do that in the code in the body i'm first going to have a column right, so column with some children and we have um, a list view so the first child is going to be our list view because we want it to be scrollable list view for cut items right and then uh, our next child is going to be uh, cut items um, total right something like this now we can have our list view right and in most cases this is going to be um, an array or a list of cat items which is a class you may create in your app right depending on um, how you are going about things that you will loop through and then you will display them so instead of having just a normal list view um, an alternative or a better alternative will be to use a list view builder since that will automatically build out the items in um, that array or list so I have a list view builder over here and then the item builder is just a function that takes in the context and an index and retain some ui so for now uh, i'm not going to talk much about this so i'm going to return just a text um, a text and that says um, cut item and then put in the index now when we save this we should have some little problems or nothing should display on the screen yeah we shouldn't see anything on the screen for now Okay, so what is actually going on is this list view is a scrollable on widget, right? And scrollable widgets in a column is not bounded. So if you're using VS Code and you had on um, cut exceptions turned on, right? That will throw an error that list view has been given an unbounded height. So in order to fix that, we just wrap this guy over here in a widget um, that will make it bounded so the best way you can do that is to wrap it in either expanded or flexible widget so what the expanded widget will do is it will allow the list view to take all the available space right because now the list view doesn't know its constraint in a column so wrapping it in expanded will let the list view take all the available space so if i save Realize I have cut item and it's infinite because I don't have an item count on this list view. So in the list view builder, we can have an item count for now. So we just we don't have an infinite number of items. Item count of let's say five. That should do. So I just have five items in this um, list view builder. 
Now, the next thing for us to work on is this small UI over here, right? So uh, let's have a look at this UI. We first have an image to the left and some text and other content to the right. So the best way to approach this is to assume this is a row, right? So we have a row which has one item and another item. Now, when you have this um, separation and you are done figuring out this, then you can work on this later on, right? Now, depending on how you want this UI to be, this may be a little tricky, right? Sometimes people don't think ahead of the UI. They just start and they realize, mm, I'm having challenges. I would have to revert everything I've done. Uh, when you look at the distance between these two buttons and then the text, it's like there is a fixed constraint for this particular card. So let's look at it in a card way. Um, there is a constraint and we are more like, well, um, we have some small um, space between this guy and this guy. But then when you get over here, push everything to the bottom and let um, the bottom section of this image align with this particular buttons. If that is not the case, and this card is not constrained, you may not know the exact um, height to give to this um, particular space, or yeah, the exact height to give to this particular space. That will push everything to the bottom, and then it will align it um, horizontally, perfectly with the image. If you get what I'm trying to say. So I think in the code, we will have a look at how to implement that. So let's first um, work on this, making it a row. So in our item, but instead of just return a text that says um, this, 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 right? I'm going to return a size box, or for now, just a container. Later on, we can move it to a size box because we are just interested in the constraints. And then give it um, a height of 200 for now. Um, just just a random height. I don't know how big that is going to be and then give it a decoration of a box decoration And give it a color of colors dot let's say red um, That's just to make it more visible Also, one thing I realized is we need to have we just have a lot of red cards over here and there is no separation between them So what you can do is you can either use um, the margin property on the container so margin um, edge insect dot um, only, right? So maybe only bottom 10. Yeah, and then we have our cards. Or you could use um, list view dot separated. So instead of using a list view dot builder, which just retains the item and you have to manage the spacing between the items yourself you can use an alternative call use call list view the separated and this requires another parameter called separator builder so if i collapse this we have another um, required thing to put there which is called a separated builder now this separated builder is the spacing or whatever widget you want to use to divide um the item builder, right? The widget retain the item builder. So when we save, realize we don't have much change because we use the same value. If I increase this to 20, realize we have 20 space between the items, right? And there's much better way to do it than to use the margin. Right, so this is what we have. Um, and a quick note, realize we don't have pardon on our UI. So I'm going to wrap this column in a pardon widget because I want the pardon in the UI to be consistent. So I'm not just going to wrap it in the list view. I'm going to wrap it in the column. So wrap it, pardon, and give it a pardon all around of 14. Um, yeah. So that will make our UI look something like this. Good. So this is what I was talking about. If you have this constraint, you'll be able to push stuff to the bottom of the constraint. And that is not going to give us much problems. So I'm going to convert this back to size box because we just need a constraint or for container so we get the height right. So let me get a height of 150. Um, yeah, 150 is not bad or 140. Good. We have 140 
um, and the spacing is okay. So I'm going to convert this back to a size box because I don't need a color for now. And then remove this decoration property from it. Now I don't see anything on the screen for now. And within this size box, this is where we are going to have our row. So the child of the size box is going to be a row widget. And the children of this row is going to be our image. Right. So currently I don't have any pizza image over here. So we can do a quick search. So maybe on splash and pizza image. Um let's pick this. copy image address i think so yeah so our first child in this row is going to be the image and then we can take up the rest the details right so our image we are going to have image dot network and then we can pass in the url or we can even take the suggestion from copilot yeah and when we see if we have a laptop um actually i don't like a laptop for this case since it's a cat item i think i'm into a laptop but let me paste what i had here yeah and we have this uh, image over here i think the dimension of the image is not really good for our use case so maybe we can get another image uh, maybe this Um, and I need to take this guy here. So I'm back to accepting um, just the image from Pexam because I just feel like this a cat. I mean, item we can put literally just any image over there. So maybe um, try my luck, I may get an image. Yeah, something like this not very bad now we have some rounded corners on our image and there are so many ways you can go about this so either we can use um, a container and then round the container and use the image as a background of the container or we can wrap this widget in a clip erect so there are two ways you can approach this right so it's either we take away this image use a container give it a width um, and a height maybe 140 so it takes the full height and then in the decoration we have our box decoration and we have our image property here so in our image we can have a decoration image and in the decoration image it takes in the network image and then the url to the image you want and also you can apply a fit over here which is box fit dot cover right so this is going to give us a width and a height and if we make it um 114 we can get a square image then we can round this image using the border radius property so border radius the circular and we pass in the value of 10. so this is going to give us um, a circular image right yeah so this is how we go about the image section for this part now that will be done for the image within the row so i can collapse this container and now the next thing is to focus on the details right so the details um preferably is going to be a column right so you have a column of text um and then these buttons so let's first have our column under the details and we need a comma over here right so in the column we have a text um that says cheese hot hamburger right so for now we can just hard code that text over there so cheese hot hamburger 
and um, we need some space now as well. So we can wrap this container in either a pattern or use the margin property. So margin and edge insect, give it a right of 20. So it always have a margin right of 20. Now let's start this text a bit. So in the star property, we can use a star from a team or just hard coded star over here. Um, normally, I recommend using a star from your team as that's much better. So we have our cheese hot hamburger over here and it's more like that's too um, huge. So 16 should be okay for this. Um, yeah. And we we'll have to break this as well. So depending on how you want this thing to be broken down, um, you may set a constraint for this text so it doesn't extend um, to the full width of the available space so that it breaks down to the next line or you may manually just break it down. So I don't know how this was designed and I don't know the requirements but then it will be up to you and your designer or your product manager depending on how you want this to be displayed in the UI. For now, I'm just going to leave it like this or just for demonstration purpose, put a backslash end over here. So I, this goes to a new line. And I have a feeling this um, height is too much. So I'm going to reduce the height to 130 and also use double dot infinity over here so it takes the available height instead of just hard coding that height over here so we have cheese hot hamburger over here repeated for all our five items in the cut and maybe we can make it three for now so we have much space over here right now that's for the text so outside of the text we can have some pattern around the text so that is going to give us space and then only bottom of eight for now. I don't know which value is going to be right. So we have a pattern here and then the text of the price. So um, the price is 18.99. So the dollar sign 18. So we have to escape the dollar sign since it is being used as um, a special symbol in that. That's for string interpolation. So 18.99. And realize that it's centered in the middle. So we have to come to the column and change the cross axis alignment and put it to start. So the cross axis alignment of the column is how you want things to be aligned in the cross axis now when you have a column the main axis is the vertical section of the column and the cross axis is the horizontal section so horizontally i want everything to be aligned to the left if that makes sense now we can change the style of this text a bit since the other one is also um, a little change so we can have a text style remove this font weight um, style textile font size of around 12 and then also change the color as well um so we have something much equivalent to what they had I think this should be close together yeah now the next thing to focus on is these two buttons right so we can just in the column we have this text and then this now this is where what I was talking about comes to place you don't know the exact space to give to this particular UI in order to push everything to the bottom. Because now what we want to do is, we want to have 
these buttons pushed to the bottom. I still feel we have um, our height too much, so I'm going to still reduce it to 120, right? And further reduce the width of our container to somewhere 130, right? So our image looks much smaller. So you can't really um, know the amount of space to give in order to push the last element to the bottom. So I'm going to just give a random space for now. So let's say, let's assume I have a size box um, with a height of 50 or 30. And I'm assuming that is going to be enough to push everything to the bottom, right? And then I'm going to have my row with some children. And the children will contain these buttons with the text. So um, the children will have the icon button. For now, the press can be an empty function. And the icon, icons dot, um, I don't know if you have minus or I don't really know the icon that will give me that. Uh, let me just put this icon there for now. Um, let me say subtract. Um, let me use add for now. I think I can just find that icon. And we have an error. Mm. I think a missing curve base. Yeah. And now we have an overflow, right? Because or maybe the height 30 was too much. So let's remove that. And everything seems to work. Right. Um, so in order to know the amount of space, because this button too is too huge, so we can reduce the icon button size a bit. So first let's change the splash radius to somewhere 20. So that it's, the splash is much smaller or even um 18 but also change the size so um the icon button should have an icon size property on it yeah and that should make the size much smaller right realize a small issue over here this is not aligned like our other items in the column so in order to fix that we have to come to the rule We have to come to the rule and change the cross axis alignment. Um, yeah, let's try that. I'm sorry. To the main axis behind the rule. And change the main axis alignment. Yeah, and I have no idea why this is not moving for now. Yeah, but I know we'll figure it out. So let's continue with that. And we're not having the perfect design for this for now. So we're just using a normal um, icon button from Flutter for this case. But you can design your custom button. You know, it's much easier. So the next thing is to have the text of the icon button. But I'm going to put a size box here first. And then the text, which is the value <laughs> right um and then other icon buttons i'm going to copy this first have a size box for space and then put the icon button here okay, so we're going to have something like this here right now we need to fix the alignment issue which is something we'll come back to very shortly right so 
this is what we have for now and we have to change the symbol as well so i don't really know which icon um, will give us that symbol so i'm going to google font and then icons and then set for minus and the icon is called remove so icons dot remove should do that and we have the circle version of it yeah it doesn't look so great so just the remove should be okay for now and i still feel the splashes a lot so um let's change the splash to 16 icon size to 16 as well for both of them so i'm going to copy these two properties and then bring them here and now i think it's much smaller right so let's look at what has actually happened so in web development we do use um background color outline and the rest for debugging and in this case i don't want to open you know, the inspector to check what is actually going on so i'm going to wrap this in a widget and that widget is going to be called colored box and i'm going to provide it a color that is going to be um, red that make everything much obvious um so our UI is starting at the right section, right? Um, and our icon button doesn't have any effect. So what's actually happening is we let's take this um, colored box from here. So I'm going to move this colored box, remove this widget, and then just wrap it on this icon button. So wrap it widget, and I'm going to use my colored box and give it a color I'm not this color yeah so you realize that our ui is aligned perfectly right right it's starting but then the problem is from the size of our icon button okay, so our icon button is making the ui look as if it is not aligned well and that's the file we have right now. Um, yeah. So there are a lot of ways we can fix that. First, let's push everything to the bottom. So just after the text in the column, um, I'm going to put a spacer widget here. And that just going to push everything to the bottom. Just space out everything. So I know that we have enough space over here. So adding a const to this won't be bad. Now, from this inspection, we know our um, UI is aligned perfectly right and there was no need adding any main axis or cross axis alignment so colored box you can take out our colored box and now think of another alternative to fix this so what we could do is either change um, the button implementation for this to something else right because in the UI everyone is going to think this is not aligned perfectly but then this is actually aligned the way it's supposed to be so the alternative you can go for right and probably um we may change the icon button to something like um, a, a container right or an ink wall widget which also is going to give us um this ink effect when we tap on it now there is not a big issue for this um mostly you can you use an alternative right you can come up with an alternative so there's not something very huge um, and let's continue with our ui so this is what we have for now right and if we are to convert everything back to the actual design we just have to change this to a car um, a container we can use a container for this um, and give it a decoration of box decoration give it a border of border dot all and give it some color now we need some constraint so we can give it a, um, a shape 
a width of 30 and then give it a shape so shape of box shape dot circle so that will make it circular right um, it's just it's just like applying a very huge border radius to this now in the child of this container we can have our button there so the child can be our icon and then our icons that we move right and i think um, the text is too small for this um, it's in this Good. So what I did was figuring out how I could make um, this border, right, and how to center everything in it and get the actual um, size I want. So I realize it's not always a straight up thing that you do because I haven't built this UI before and I didn't think this is going to be much difficult like that. So um, we finally have it like we did in the UI. And maybe you can change the shape to 400 right something like this now what i did was i just added some padding instead of a fixed width and height and made the shape much circular that, like it was previously added a border and then the child is an icon which has a fixed size on it now you need some more space so you can use a padding widget or a size box but for now we are using the container so we can just use the margin property in the container no need for a size box and then give it a margin right of 15. And so that's going to do much for us just like the size box would have done but we are using a container so we can just do that from there i'm going to copy this container and then replace it with this um, size box here and then instead of right i'm going to change this margin to left and also change the icon to add right and we have to move the size box from here to have an even spacing right and you can play with the spacing or um, maybe increase it to 20 and 20 here again yeah so we are getting the shape we want and also we have to have this um, button over here this cross button so in the row we have our container i'm going to collapse this container collapse the text as well collapse the last container and that's what we have we can have a space of widgets here that is going to just push everything separate everything and then we are going to have our icon here and um, for some other reason everything just disappears because we are having some boundary issues over here so in order to fix this, I think when we wrap this in um, wrap it widget, wrap it widget, if I can find that. Yeah, if we wrap this in a flexible or expanded widget, that should fix that. Yeah. 
maybe x minus should do um still doesn't fix it so it means that column itself should be wrapped in expanded widget as well yeah and that fix it so what's actually going let's move let me remove this expanded and see if it still works yeah so what's actually going on is in the row we don't have um we don't know how much space this column is taken right we don't know how much space this particular column in this row is taken but then we are asking flutter to push something within this column to the far left but then flutter doesn't know the constraint of this column because this column is in a row so what we have to do is to tell flutter that whatever is left in this row should be given to this column right so everything over here um just allocate all these space to this section of the column if you get what i'm trying to say it should make sense we have two um, things in a row we have the image and then this big column now this big column over here doesn't know how much big it should be right because we haven't um, explicitly stated it yet so flutter doesn't know how he uses it it's just laying out items as it goes so in order to push something to the far end of it there must be a constraint right and how we do that is we wrap that column in an expanded telling flutter to give all the remaining space to that particular column in the row and that's how come this is able to work or fix it so let's change our icon from delete to uh, maybe i don't know if it's cross or times uh, they call x well, let me check that up quickly so cross um times um close yeah so close yeah and let me look at the color again i think gray with a shade of 600 should do that and also move the cones from here mm, 600 no 500 yeah so that's just for the first part of this ui right um, this is how you can build it and um, later you can add a um, gesture detector around this on an ink well if you want to have the same effects like a button right so tap on this um, ink wall or gesture detector wrapped around this icon buttons will trigger a function you declare yourself depending on how you want to manage your cards now the bottom part of this is going to be the fixed part right and we need to add more items over here so in the list view that's separated uh, we can have we can collapse this whole thing over here and there's the last part of it we always want to have add more items at the bottom right so depending on the number of items we have we don't care even if it's just one we still want to have add more items here so just after the expanded that's what's um, giving us this list view we're going to have a text button um and the icon version so the one that comes with an icon and that doesn't have a child it has a label and the label is the text and we say add more items so add more items and then press as usual be just an empty function and the icon right will be a plus icon so add const and we have our add more items over here um, and it makes sense because this is just being pushed right so the expanded is pushing everything down We may want to make this stick to the top, right? So it's always part of um, this particular component, right? 
Um, so there is another way we can go about this. As I said, I haven't built this UI before, and this is what most developers go to when building UIs for tutorials. So we need to um, add more items. Okay, so let's try this. Um, let's just build the other portion of the UI, right? So let's just build the other portion of the UI. So uh, in this text button, we have a column and we don't want everything to be aligned to the center as it is by default. So we can use the cross axis alignment and set it to start. Now move the add more items button to the left. And also we can change our color scheme or just leave it to the default blue. That doesn't actually change anything. So, so we still need some space. Right, I'm going to wrap this in the padded widget. Since I like to use more padding than size the box and give it a bottom of somewhere 20, right? Now, over here, this we are going to have these text. So um, we are going to have subtotal and the text, taxes and fees and the text. So these are all going to be rows with some children. And yeah, so Copilot got that right. Yeah, so we have total with a text, but we don't want the font way to be bold here. Um, yeah. And we also want um, the color to be gray, but not very gray so that is going to be a shade of 600 and that would mean we have to move the coins from here so that's what we have now let's add the coins to our spacer yeah and we are going to have multiple instances of this so you can extract this to its own separate widget um, or for now we can just duplicate everything right so wrap it wrap it a pardon widget and give it a pardon of button of eight and then copy this downwards so duplicate down duplicate down that's going to give us total total and we can change the text right so we can have um instead of total again we can have taxes and fees so taxes and fees right and we can put a value there so that's going to be 10 delivery fee that is going to be five and the first one is supposed to be subtotal instead. So subtotal taxes and fees, delivery fee. Um, and there is much space between them. So instead of eight, we can have um, 14 and the best way to do this is to extract this into its own widget. Um, later on, we can extract this into its own widget, right? So we have this being um, given as a margin or a space of 14, right? Now we need this dotted divided line before our total and then a checkout button.
so um, let me just collapse this right so that we have much space here so we need a row with some children so let me just create a comment here so dotted divider divider lines right. so we need a row and then with some children and within these children instead of just having uh, instead of just having the children as an empty list like this we can use less the generate so that's just going to generate us um something we want right um giving it the number of items we want to generate for that thing so i'm giving it 20 for now and i'm going to return a container right there are so many ways you can go about this there is even a package for it so it depends on what you want a container with a height of two i think two should be okay and um, a color of colors that's gray and i'm going to drop this container in an expanded widget which is take all the available space so they are all trying to take all the available space right and that's what's going to make it fill up all the space left so expanded and now we need some gap so i'm going to wrap this um not wrap i'm going to give it a margin of h insect that only right of five and you can see some we have some daughter lines over here right uh, let me increase the length of this to 25 so that there are more data lines or 30 35 or 40 depending on number of data lines you want to have and also we want to have some pardon at the bottom so let's wrap this row in a pardon widget give it a pardon of only a bottom of 30 will be bad right so that's what we have for now with the dotted lines um and they are much gray so um, lighter so gray in the shade and maybe 300 something like this and outside this after this sorry we can have our button so elevated button um for now don't press as usual will just be this function and then a text that says uh, check out we forgot our total check out right let's wrap this in a widget called size box um, and the reason is simple i wanted to take all the available space so give it a width of double dot max finite and that is going to make it take out available space also let's start our button a bit because it's just a default blue button which no one actually likes um, so in the style we can have elevated button the style from and then apply the style I want so the first I want to apply the shape and I want to use a shape called stadium border right so that's going to give us this rounded shape and also we want to increase the height of this button because it's much smaller we can just do it from here um, give it a height of 50 um, yeah or 45 yeah and we need some pardon more right so rapid pardon and bottom 
of eight. Eight. Now we can change the color or just move with the blue because that's the button we've been using. I mean the color we've been using for this UI. Now when it comes to this add more items which is being pushed here and also we forgot our total again so let me just put that one here. So we have a text um not a text just one of these right and this was our saying you can extract to its own component so i pass in um, the values and then the text so we have a total over here um just after dotted lines if i'm sure okay right, so just after the lines we have this total and therefore this button must have a value of 14 and this having the value of 30 right and we can have our total here and 78.96 so 78.96 right, and that is um, bold the rest are not bold so you have to go and then change the font weight for the rest. I'm not bored, but then weight 500. Yeah, so font weight of 500 is okay for them. And let's just um, quickly create a component or a widget for this so that we don't have to repeat ourselves that much in this case. So I'm going to create a new directory called widgets and I'm create a new that file called uh, um, naming is very difficult so let me come up with a name quick um, let's say price item I don't really think it makes sense but just for demonstration purpose so stateless widget call price item and it must return one of these right so we can just forget about the pardon for now because we can apply the pardon around the widget manually so let's just return one of these and i think my copying was bad so let me first import material so we get rid of this error and we have to get the exact bro right so like this and paste like this remove the coins from here and um, what's wrong with this Um, let's just do this manually and I have no idea why this is an error so let's find out I'm not this okay so that's from here good and I can have these two items. So price. Yeah. And now let's take in um, the value. And then the subtitle. So I can just create two values here. Final string value. final string um, subtitle right and if I see if I can generate this constructor um,
then we can use the value and the subtitle here so just this and maybe now we need the space here and value here this can no longer be const because it's not dynamic so we can just take this out instead of a row we can have price item so in this the child is going to be a price item passing the subtitle as subtotal um, subtotal and then passing a value as let's say um this is three point something nine six or nine seven doesn't really matter so that is going to simplify our our code right i think we have a subtotal there so that was taxes and fees so taxes and fees yeah, taxes and fees and we can just do same for both of them so i'm going to copy this down and change the title to delivery fee like this and remove this widget as well And then probably do the same for this guy over here as well. So instead of this complex row, can just copy this down. Um, remove all these. Just have this there. Right? And that's going to be subtotal. And now we can change the values to 10.0, 10.0. Point zero and um yeah five point zero five point zero zero ten point zero zero like this but and now we have some space in here or uh, within this and you need to find a way to fix that so maybe plus um yeah maybe this should work and we have this right so last thing for us to fix is the add more items and um, we can fix this there are similar ways you can fix this um let's think of a way to fix it and you can also extract this complex thing into its own widget so um, let me take this out um okay so because i'm using the index to just get the image i would want to take it out right so that's going to mean i'll have to pass in the index as well but then i know if you've started flutter for a while now you know how to extract widgets into their own i mean components so basic part of this widget into its own component that you can reuse just like we did for these guys right now when it comes to add more items um, let me see if i can fix that so where do we have the add more items just here um, putting it outside won't work because this is pushing everything down so it must definitely be within uh, within the expanded for it to work or we must look for a better alternative um, 
So let's try putting this in a column to see if that works. So um, in the list view, we are returning a size box over here, and I'm going to wrap, I'm going to cut the size box. and create a component for it so new that file and call it um, cut item so And obviously, we're going to have some errors. Let's record the index. So, final int index. I think we need a const here as well. And let's record this index. So, over here, we can return a cut item and pass in that index like this. And everything works after saving. So instead of returning just um, a cut item or in the list video separated, um, let's look at this alternative. Wrap it in a column. And that's still going to give us problems. And what if we change? from expanded to flexible and that still doesn't fix it so okay so after hours of thinking um the conclusion I came with maybe we can compromise this list view that's separated, right? And come up with just a normal list view, right? That will help us to fix this. So we're going to have a list view with some children. So let's see how that goes. A list view with, um, just a normal list view and then children and, and within this children we can loop so uh, we can have four we can have list dot generate and then pass in the length of the item we want and then we are going to return our cut item and then pass in the index now after this we can put um a pardon or just just immediately after this right and we need to do one more thing to it because this is taking the full height now. So let's wrap this. In an align widget. And probably align it. And then we need to have some space so maybe we can have a size box here right so after thinking for a while this is the solution i came up with 
is to have the list view here right and then generate the number of items when we are done generating then we add um, our button to it like this and that is going to give us the exact ui yes yeah. so that's also going to make us compromise our space over here so what we have to do is to wrap this in a pattern widget and give it a pattern of only bottom of 10 and maybe we can leave this guy here right or 15 if that's too small for us good and this is going to fix it so thank you guys for watching this video it's a really long one i know and if you make it this far i'm sure you'd have really learned a lot from it um this is what developers go to in order to deliver the best tutorials you guys see out there no one is a magician they just have um, a video to show you that no one is very good at ui or just get things on the first try we all go through um, a lot of tests and error as you've seen here before we're able to come up with what is deemed the best right so if you manage it um to get to this far thank you very much for watching if you like to see more contents like this like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions you can leave it in the comment section and i will see you in the next one